Hello, Jeff. Hello. We are out um, just uh, east of Pescadero, and um, I want to ask you, what is a regenerative farm, and what's regenerative agriculture, and if we're going to create regenerative communities, at MEA, how is that different than a, a sustainable community or even a retirement community? Oh, yeah, there's lots of questions to start off with. Let's start with what is a regenerative farm? So the idea behind regeneration is essentially you start with the soil. How do you regenerate soil so that it can better maintain water, maintain nutrients and maintain all different types of life within the soil? If you look at a regular field, the way that we sort of typically look after farmland is you use all kinds of chemicals and pesticides to kill all the bad stuff. But simultaneously, you're killing all the good stuff. So the idea is, if you look at the verge of most farmlands, there's this incredible life, right? Rich grasses, all sorts of stuff. And so regenerative farmers have been looking at that and saying, what's going on there? Why is there life on one side? And why do we have to put so much effort to get the farm to work on the other side? And the baseline ideas behind it is, it's about soil health, making rich, healthy soil. And the way you do that is by putting all kinds of different nutrients into the soil, either through animals, either through different types of cropping, so multiple different types of crops at different types of heights, essentially that bring life and regenerate the soil. The way we're doing it at Baja Sage, which is the project that we're working on together, is essentially different our crop rows have different types of plants that work at different levels. So you might have a squash at the bottom, you might have beans in the middle, and you might have fruit trees on the top. They have different life cycles in terms of when they're harvested. They have different types of um, time cycles in terms of when they're flowering, when they're leafier and so on. And they create this kind of micro ecosystem on the land. They're super productive. Okay, so take that idea okay. of regenerative farming and put it into a person. What might we need to do to regenerate a person in midlife and beyond? Maybe it's not just the soil, it's the soul. <laughs> <laughs> you know me and language. Yeah. <laughs> so regenerating the soul, regenerating the soil. What is it that we've had stripped out? What do we need to have put back in so that we can live with that kind of diversity and so on? The reason that we're here specifically is we're, we're actually doing two projects. We're doing one project closer to the beach and closer to the academy, um, that is Baja Sage One. But part of our commitment, we have three impact commitments in terms of our regenerative work. One is regenerate people and place. The second commitment is be inclusive. And for us, we were trying to work out how could we create something like this for our local community, Mexicans and so on. This project here, this land here is four hectares, which is about 10 acres, where we're gonna build about 40 houses on a farm that is a regenerative green homes for under $25,000. Under $25,000 a piece? A piece. A, piece, a peach? House. A peach, <laughs> a, each a house, piece. yeah. This is for our local families? That's right, for our staff, for our team, for local families, for key local figures that need housing. As house prices up here in, in the Pescadero region have become completely unattainable, could we create something for people to be able to live here, build wealth here? We want these homes to be worth $100,000 the moment people move into them so that they build out equity, that they build wealth. So this land, this spot, it was important to us that this spot was not just convenient for them, but also stunningly beautiful. We didn't want this to be the ghetto. We wanted this to be something that was special, both for us and for the people that were ultimately gonna live here. It's gonna have the same kind of facilities and the same ideas as Baja Sage. You know, common areas, common farm, um, common utilities. Um, except for it's going to have a soccer field because apparently that's a must have and we'll work through a kind of a community design process to get to that. So that, that kind of gives you a sense. Our third principle, in case you're interested, is every dollar matters. So the idea of how do we spend locally and stimulate the local economy? Can we source all of our products here? Um, these mountains, these sierras, this is a uh, this is the Sierra Laguna, and up there is the Sierra Gorda. Um, they play home to hundreds of farmers that are kind of looking after that land. Can we use 
them to make our furniture, to make all of our wood? Can we use them to sort of use local pottery to make bowls and cups and plates and whatever it is that we're using? How do we spend every single dollar that we spend to help generate movement in the local economy? So the difference between a retirement community and a regenerative community is immense. Yeah, yeah. It's about diversity. It's about diversity in your personal soil. It's about different things growing around you and learning and, and being together with all kinds of different people that, that will shift your world and make you healthier. It means that you'll retain water better. And, <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully this water, this, you know, this is, this is, uh, you know, this is desert land, but the part that's amazing is that this desert land, we have enough water around here to actually do some farming, which is yeah, This amazing. is really rich and fertile soil, so we're excited. Thank you, Jeff. You Thanks. are excited. I'm excited too. <laughs>